Sunball. The channel for games, guides, and glitches. Sunfall here with Night Shift. This is going to be a glitched speedrun. I will have a video showcasing these glitches and more uh, for this level, but that's for a different video. I discovered all these glitches and then I worked out how to basically run the mission. This is the only mission I could run without breaking it to the point where I couldn't finish it. So the first glitch we're going to do is right off the bat here. Once you get the right angle, we can land on those binoculars he is actually using. The way you're looking and the way you're aimed are all part of it. And there we go. Now that's not the hard part, believe it or not. <laughs> this is the hard part. So this can result in crashes if the game doesn't like how much damage you receive. But we have to jump on the ledge. We have to then crouch or just a angle ourselves slowly and descend and then hit the wall. And if the game thinks you haven't received enough damage, it won't crash and you can continue on the run. Also, look at these Christmas lights. Aren't they pretty? Anyway, I had to restart many times just because of that crash for this run. I also had to work out everything. This run took me about five days of preparation to uh, basically make happen. I had to work out death fields. I had to work out uh, points that would set off next points and stuff like that. It was quite a long journey, but you now everyone gets to see it. And I'm overjoyed that you all get to see this. This is... A really good game. I wish the missions had been uh, done differently though. Whenever the saves get deleted, I have to do every single part of the missions. And even if they weren't deleted, I still have to do every single part of the missions. I can't get into certain parts. Right now we're running out of bounds. Uh, we will re be returning inbounds. But for now, we don't really have to worry about any rules. The main reason I changed to my knife by holding in RB is because you run faster in my opinion uh, and also I don't accidentally fire my gun because the when you're in the first area not the rooftop but the area you descend to after that that area is basically on the ground and so any gunfire will set them off and then you fail and that kills the run for this part I hadn't really tested um, accurately going higher because the death zone was still active and I didn't really want to waste too much time so I chose this spot because it always worked which is between these two buildings and then from there we can go around we're actually in the third area right now it is just deloaded well technically it's the fourth area because the third area we'll be heading to but yeah Thankfully the ladder here isn't locked. If the ladder here was locked, I would be having to find a new way to get to area 2. Area 3, sorry. So we climb this ladder. We're going to see how many objectives we can skip. So we go down here, and this is very important. You have to angle yourself so that you fall onto the ladder, but don't pull yourself back up. It can be a little tricky to do. But once you land on the ladder and you don't pull yourself up and you can walk down it, that's exactly what you want. If you do not do that and you just fall down, you will not disable the activation zone for that ladder. So you will not be able to climb back up, killing your entire run. So here I haven't actually fully tested it, uh, but when I had him active I couldn't run, so therefore I just n will not run at this point. Touch the wall, and there we go, the sentry is now active and we have not disabled the lights in the parking lot. Shit. A guy watching the street. So again we're walking to not activate him and get in trouble, but right here we can run. And this is our first save spot, so if we were 
um, playing around with the game right here it would save for us so you'd be all good on loading up if you failed and right here we have to snipe these two so once you've sniped those two this wall here will stay active this is disabling us from continuing on and we've got these guys here that have to cross once they cross it disables the visible barrier that you see right here that goes really high so we can't jump on it or anything but once it's disabled we'll be able to do the next part so now that it's disabled we want to follow the ledge here and you want to angle yourself so you fall on this roof then you want to jump onto this wall here and you want to follow it you can't run because you'll fall off so you've got to angle yourself slightly to the side to hug the wall Then we can run and jump once we get to this ledge or fall because it doesn't recognize jump and when the fireworks go off we can head off this way those fireworks are kill zone fireworks by the way that's what we were avoiding <laughs> Following this route, we can head down here. Again, we're just outside the boundaries, so if you wanted to explore, you could. I'll have my video to showcase that. In this level there actually is a drivable vehicle as well that I figured out how to not only get to but create a safe spot so that way if you were to just load up your game and wanted to drive around for fun, you could. Soon we'll be getting to the next safe spot. So we just have to jump up on this ledge. Once it's safe, start walking, hit RT, and we can do our best improv skills. Oh no, it's the improv police, run away. So far we've got four things we've uh, on our shopping list. We have to jump down this tunnel. I do know a skip, uh, but it would not activate the next area, unfortunately. But like I said, there'll be a video with that. Kill our guy because it's funny. He survives the explosion that he's right next to. Then run in here because it's funny. I love running when it's crouched, it just looks so damn funny. Then we want to go through the middle here, jumping takes longer, so if you can angle yourself to turn straight into the middle, you'll be able to run just straight in and climb. Then right here we want to aim for the wall in front of us. Now normally you can get a double if you aim just about here, but my guy, this guy here decided he was going to blind fire. And so when I got the headshot, it didn't get the body of him. But these two got grenaded by the AI, I'd say, which was different. And now we can kill this guy here and continue on. Let's get moving. There. Stairs. Let's get over the other side of the block. Good mini list and a good big list of stuff we haven't done yet. <laughs> So this one, 
spot here is interesting. Uh, the door closes, but at one point does reopen. But we're not going to be using that yet. That's for another video. For this one, if you were to do this, we need the activation point. And the activation point is until a little bit later after this point, and there's no way to get this guy to activate it, because he actually is the activator. So we need him to come with us, unfortunately. Misfit? This is Misfit 1-3. I mean, RV Delta. At least it's not much we have to do, we just have to stand in this spot, kill a bunch of people, and go into the mall. <laughs> Seeing evidence that this is the location where Corporal Miller was executed. Matches the description. Camera set up everything. I hope you've been enjoying this speed run. Speed glitch run. As much as I'm enjoying showcasing it for all of you. To get this in one run took me a lot of attempts. That. And he keeps shoving me out of the way. It's like, dude, make up your mind where you want to stand. Wait for. Him. Here we go, one last shove. <laughs> we can kill them before they get to their positions, saving us time. Ran straight to the left so I can shoot. Grenade! Fuckers! I'm trying to run away from the grenade and he's blocking me again. Okay. Clear. Let's go. I think he needs his eyes checked. It's not clear. I think that guy tried to knife me. Don't make sense now. First they bring in Al so we gotta head down here where he kicks the door in. Show the brass. Fuck up. Fuck Be cool if we could kick the door in. Over here. So now we have to go over to this door here. And we have to wait for them to catch up. And we can still see the objective was killing the sentry. <laughs> that remains the entire time, which I absolutely love. He kicks in the door or pushes it open with his body. And we can go in here. This is where we have to wait for some more conversation, yada yada yada. Unfortunately, cannot skip this. Alright, update. Blackbird Campo will provide overwatch from this rooftop right here. We'll all be back at the mall and be back. We have now confirmed Al Bashir's location. We think he's shot? Absolutely not. We need Al Bashir alive. We need his intel on the nukes we found at the fan. I do not want a Bin Laden style resolution. Do you understand? Right. Let's do it. So, right here, this is the activation point. Once he does this, we can actually climb this ladder because at the moment we cannot climb it. And now we can climb it. literally only needed him to climb a ladder. <laughs> I actually managed to get him to glitch into the sniper nest, but because he didn't climb the ladder, it was pointless. But that's the whole reason we have to do that section. So now we can skip to this section. Now, I'm not 100% on what does it, but being in the corner, seems to trigger it a lot faster and trigger it to begin with because sometimes 
this doesn't trigger and you have to reload the checkpoint. But of course, I wanted it in one video because I wanted to do the speed run with no uh, breaks or anything, so it's all performed at once. That's why I'm not pausing it. So this spot is actually really good as well because it gives you good cover and good line of sight on them. What I'm trying to do is kill all three at the same time. We're in close time. The game seems to like when I do that. And I was able to get the objective to activate much quicker. As soon as he says Blackburn, we can go on. And this is our chance to kick a door open, and what do we do? Pull the handle. Aww. So we run down the stairs, and this door is wide open. Oh, you don't know the relief I felt when that door finally was not there anymore. There's a door there that, that blocks your entrance completely, and when I finally removed that, we could continue on. That took me the longest time to figure hey. out. Hey, stay awake. And look, Come on. for some hey. reason he's got a dead body in here, hey. and we don't know name? why. What's your name? <laughs> and we can have a bit of fun with the dead body too. Look, the leg disappears. Legs back. Arm disappears as well. Blackbird, lay some claymores down here. So now we do have to do the shootout in the mall, but that's okay. We didn't have to do any sniping. So far, all we've had to do is shootouts. And look at our long list of objectives we have not done. <laughs> I cannot be proud of this. So the first part of this shootout is downstairs. There'll be two guys that come from the stairs that we actually, which is right here, that we went down. There'll be some guys from the left and some guys from the right. Now I could go down there and probably shoot them all out, but it's actually much easier and much more effective to be up here for the next section. Because we can use this pillar as our defense point. Where I placed the uh, claymores was not effective at all, but that's okay. So this is the part I was talking about why it's more effective to be up the top because it gives you enough time to come over here to their spawn locations. They actually spawn through the emergency doors just on your right and left here. So if you wait and you position yourself just right, I think I'm a bit too close, but it's fine. I can still see. They, their door blurs your vision a little bit because it's like a flashbang when they come through. But boom, the first two guys, and then when you come around the corner here, you can just shoot the next guys through the spawn point. Two more guys spawn, or one more guy, I'm not 100% sure on that. And that's that part done. And then we just have to do the third part, which the third part is this wall here. So it's better to go back to this spot here. And they'll come from the door. That's right here and above us as well well above that door I should say not above us <laughs> but yeah that door and above it we just have to wait for him to carry the body over this was another activation point you actually needed I was able to get them all active and the shootout active, but it wouldn't tick over because he didn't have the body. Which was interesting. The reason I've got the brightness as much as I do is because there's a couple that come through and they did it on all my runs and they will run through objects like it's nothing. So they will beeline to try and knife you. So the best defense is to have your brightness up so you can see their flashlights. Because thankfully they keep that on. See I lost sight of him and there he is beelining for me. And he just ran through that planet like it was <laughs> not even there. 
And yes, one of the guys did grenade himself, which saved me some trouble. I tried getting him early, but I am unsuccessful. Because he just runs. But see, straight through the wall. That was nothing. So the next point of um, activation is going to the door that the body's in. But the thing is, we don't want to activate that just yet. I pick up the landmines, but I still think it was pretty useless doing that because it didn't go off anyway. I'm not very good at placing them. <laughs> not in this game anyway. I accidentally placed one right there testing the button to place them. Better place it at the door there because that's where their spawn point is. Once you activate this point, they spawn from that door. Now, normally when I hit this move section, they spawn pretty much soon after, but for some reason, they didn't spawn straight away, so I was actually too slow to get to the door and shoot them. Because I go to the door here and it still hasn't activated them. I'm not sure if I was just being too preemptive and I didn't wait long enough, but as soon as I went inside a bit more, it activated. So, as you can see, the claymore was ineffective, <laughs> to say the least. But, this is their spawn door, so you can just wait for the reinforcements to show up. As you can see right there, two guys. So right here, you want to camp in this building, just to get the stragglers that will come through. These guys will walk through walls and stuff. There's one that camps on the right here. bit. We've got these two guys and I need to reload so I'm just going to use the assault rifle on him. Then reloading at the other guy. Hold them off for a little bit longer. And we've got the guy across from us still. So now that we've got him, we'll wait a little bit to see if any more spawn. Sounds a bit too clear. And now we can go through this part here, which will fire a rocket. I was going to shoot the guy, but I couldn't locate him. And since I was doing a speedrun glitch video, I decided, well, instead of trying to find him, I'm going to beeline up for the plane after all this work. And here we have, look at this shopping list of stuff we skipped. Now that is nice. This is a very long cutscene and I do pause it at one point in this cutscene, but only because I was trying to skip it. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this glitch run video. Um, glitch speed run. As much as I enjoyed doing it, discovering it, and making it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Remember to like and subscribe. He used me. He uses everyone. He a dog betrayed me with his plans. Trains. And for that, I will get him for this. Listen! The 14th of this month, when the sun is set, Soleiman will strike, burning hell, all hey, of you. Come on! Hang in there! Come on! God damn it! We lost him. Well, he was talking about. Here's his phone. Maybe there's some good intel in here. <laughs>